Storing your own cryptocurrencies has been proven to be more important than ever before, thanks to the biggest scammer in history, in my opinion, SBF. Along with the whole FTX Alameda debacle. Enter Tangem. It's a newer cryptocurrency hardware wallet that boasts being simply secure. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up and use the Tangem wallet and a little sneak peek at the torture test we're working on as a follow-up video for this. Also, we're gonna be giving away a Tangem wallet. If that interests you, click the link in the video description below to enter that giveaway. Oh, and hey, my name is Vosk. You're on the Vosk Queen YouTube channel. All right, so step number one is we need to go to tangem.com slash start. Well, I, I'd like that to just take me where I need to go, but anyway, here we are. Initiating download. While we wait for this, I wanna give you a little bit of insight, a little torture testing we're doing. I have left one of the cards because I have the three pack and basically you have three cards that come in the three pack and they all perform the same function it's kind of like just having three keys to the same lock and I've frozen one or what let me I put one in the freezer it's pretty cold and uh, then I froze one in liquid but water would just be a little bit too boring put it in G fuel you're gonna have to watch our torture test review video to see how that one shakes out. So the download completed. Now I need to scan this, the card and set it up. I also took my second uh, Tangem card, two of three out of the freezer. You can see the condensation here for me. I don't think that's gonna matter at all, uh, but we're gonna kind of go up in severity as we go along. I don't know if we're gonna get as severe as shooting it like the Russians did, uh, but I've got firearms. Don't threaten me with a good time. Maybe we'll just run it over. Let's go ahead and scan the card. Tap the card here. My understanding, uh, which is from when they shot it, is that the main piece of the chip is actually right here in the center. So there's a disclaimer. You, know, you already bought it, so you might as well just go ahead and accept that. That's actually a terrible practice. You click next, scan the card. Create the wallet, tap the card, and there we go. You can back up your keys up to two other blank Tangem wallet cards. Well, <laughs> maybe I should have backed up that one card that I already froze. So let's go ahead and add a backup card. All right, so we got one and the frozen one is already pretty much warm and it still works. Well, let's have a little bit of a spoiler here. Wow, <laughs> it's frozen. That's actually pretty cool. That's fun. I know like, it's NFC technology, so it should work, right? But to actually do something stupid like this and, and see it work in person is pretty fun. So uh, this is G Fuel. And it's that thick, obviously it did settle at the bottom and we did use the bottom. Wow, this smells good. I should make popsicles with this. Coming soon, Boss Coin Popsicles. Hey babe, I'm gonna make G Fuel popsicles. Finalize the backup process. You need to create an access code. Hmm, let's go one, two, three, four. Yeah, you'll never guess that one. Prepare the primary card with number 9629. 9611. Woo, it's not the one that's frozen. It's the first one we scanned. That's what I'm talking about. To ensure the security, please hold the card until the operation's complete. 12, 10, 11, gotcha, it's 7, prepare for blast off. 
So then it asks you to scan backup card number one, which essentially would be card number two. And fun card. Yeah, I'm scanning my G Fuel boys. It worked. God, it smells great. I need to make candles for that. So you can allow it to use Face ID or not. So we'll just go ahead and say yes. That information's already in your phone anyway, so if you use it. So then you click continue to wallet, and just like that, we're in the game. So let's say I want some Bitcoin. Okay. Well, let me copy the address and I'll send some coin to it. And while we're at it, let's go ahead, send some ETH, Ethereum to our Tangent Wallet as well. Remember, I'm just clicking Ethereum, clicking copy, and I got my address. You can also click share and send it more easily. You can also click explore and bring it up on the block explorer. It's natively integrated with Etherscan, which is most people's preferred Ethereum block explorer anyway. So that's cool. So we've got those tokens on the way now. While we wait for that, let's recap a couple of things. So I'm using this on an iPhone, iOS, obviously like every other half decent thing in the world these days, they also have Android support. So you got an Apple iPhone, you got a Google Android, you're gonna be all right. We got three cards here synced up, like you saw, which is always cool, good to see. It automatically loads the big two, Bitcoin and Ethereum when you fire up the wallet. When you click manage tokens, you can come in here and select what any kind of tokens you want. Obviously they have ERC20 support. And so that's why when you go to their website, you instantly see, oh yeah, we've got thousands of tokens. And, and that's cool, you love, you love to see it. But what's also nice, multi-chain support, right? So you see BNB, but not just BNB, which is like that annoying, awful naming convention of the BNB beacon chain, which was the main chain and just, you know, the BNB addresses and whatever. But you also get support for the BNB smart chain. So I can go ahead and enable that. And now I've got the BNB smart chain enabled. And so let's look at this address, OX27 ending in 83CD. OX2783CD. These are both Ethereum based addresses, right? So I could receive Ethereum or BNB on the BNB smart chain or Binance smart chain to the same address there. And actually we also noticed that the test Ethereum I sent over here has showed up. Showed up quickly, easy peasy, love that. And the Bitcoin has registered here as well, verified ballot. That's awesome. Quick, easy, functional performance there. Keep in mind, right, this is a hardware wallet. A hardware wallet is just your keys to the kingdom. This functions with private keys, and it just kind of lets you interact with the blockchain. All of these transactions are happening on chain, and I'm maintaining custody of these coins. So the next time SBF tries to rug us all, it's not gonna work when you got your coins locked up in something like this. So let's go ahead and try an outbound transaction. Click on my Bitcoin here. And then I'll be going to send. And I'll allow paste. And then from here I'll go maximum amount. Always a good uh, feature to have. Okay, you gotta click it that way. Now we'll go down here, get a fee option. It's good to have, we need to include that fee there. It's gonna cost about 24 cents to send this Bitcoin. Initiated face ID, but I'm accessing my coins. So I'm gonna to need to scan. So I'll hold that up there. And transaction's been signed and it's been sent to the blockchain. And just like that, I completed a send transaction for Bitcoin. You get a sending notification up there, transaction in progress. That's how easy it is to receive and send coins here on your Tangent wallet. I would just repeat the exact same function for Ethereum there, just with an ETH address. When it comes to wallets in this app, you don't have to just be stuck with one. You click this, you can add additional wallets here which is great if you have like a DeFi DGen wallet, you got the super cold, leave this alone, Bitcoin only wallet, 
you know, d depending what you want to do, maybe you manage crypto for your family. So you got like dad's wallet, your wallet, kid's wallet, whatever. Easy way to separate that and not commingle funds. Cause I've seen enough of that in last year. The functionality for Tangem doesn't stop there though. You can also utilize Wallet Connect. So with Wallet Connect, you can connect to dApps. Basically you go into the DeFi realm, you use Wallet Connect and instead of just saying like, oh yeah, connect with MetaMask. And now you're dealing with decentralized finance, smart contract, interacting with the decentralized blockchain web 3.0 crazy world. But through cold storage, added layer of security. Love that. Finally, let's close it out and show that we actually learned what we were supposed to learn here today. So I open the application, you can click on it from your homepage or whatever. Uh, I can scan a card to log in or use Face ID. I'm blocking my face right now, I'm gonna go ahead and scan a card. Get off me Face ID, no. So I'm gonna scan the card, I'm gonna grab my backup card here. Hold it up where it tells us to. Got the access code there which is our top secret, one, two, three, four. Face ID is significantly quicker and easier here. Uh, but this isn't that bad of a function either, and if you're one of those people that won't use Face ID, then, uh, well, it's good they have an alternative. So, got that synced up there, and uh, so I'm like, okay, I wanna send my Ethereum, right, because Whenever I do demo wallets here for the channel, it's, well, it's exactly that. So I'll go ahead and send some Ethereum. Go down here, maximum amount, make sure I'm clicking that left side. Pop, pop. Gonna let it use Space ID this time, speed this up, because we still need to scan. Uh, <laughs> it's starting to melt a little bit. Uh, well, got G Fuel on the table again. So we'll use our handy dandy G Fuel wallet. By the way, I'm not sponsored by them. But I will bug them about making a Bitcoin G Fuel. How about Bitcoin Blast? Next bowl run, oh yeah. But to keep it on topic, sent transaction in progress. And just like that, we logged in, we sent some coins all securely based around hardware. It's really that simple and that easy. This video would have been even shorter if I didn't spend half of it talking about my portal fluid green liquid stuff. On that note, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content in the video. As always, a reminder from our CSO, our Chief Security Officer, Tails here at the Voscoin YouTube channel, you better subscribe. It's the only way to stay safe. Also, watch out for our full-blown review video on the Tangent Wallet, where we take torture testing to the next level. You've only seen one of many torture tests.